like that. that looks so funny. Really easy heelless curls. <gasps> we are not getting out of this life alive. I'm currently just about to head out, but I was like, oh my god, I didn't have a coffee yet. It's literally well something i'm not really sure and i hadn't had a coffee yet and i saw this recipe on tiktok and it's basically you can make like your own honey cinnamon latte which is so cool so i'm gonna do that with you guys and taste it and see how it turns out because i've never really made anything with cinnamon before so this is gonna be good i hope okay so i just made my espresso shot i just put it in a cup here because i do like to pour it over my milk afterwards i just do it a weird way i'm just gonna eyeball this i'm just gonna add like a spoon i'm not really sure usually when i do maple syrup i know exactly how much i need so we're just gonna eyeball it and do this much I guess I'm just scared it's gonna be too much yeah, it'll be fine. I'm just gonna mix it into the hot espresso shot to make sure that it melts because I'm gonna be making this iced. And yes, especially if you're working with honey, you're gonna definitely need to mix it in like a hot substance. Make sure you remember to do it beforehand or else I can't really see solidified honey mixing in well with a cold drink. Time for the cinnamon. For the cinnamon, yay, yay. Alrighty, okay. So now that I have the honey mixed in here, I hope I didn't put too much. Uh, I'm just gonna put some cinnamon in here. I don't know how much to put. I'm just gonna one, two. Not sure. We're just gonna start with that and I can also like top the drink off with cinnamon. That smells so good. Okay, so pretty much got that all mixed in. Now I'm gonna fill my cup with ice. Okay, so you guys already know that I'm obsessed with the barista's own oat milk but i found this at the grocery store yesterday and it's the barista soy version you guys probably heard me talk about it if you watch my last vlog but i'm gonna try today i'm so excited because this was half the price of the oat milk one so i guess oat milk is more expensive fill her up okay but yeah this one was literally 250 and then the oat milk one was like five dollars so literally um half the price moment of truth Okay, let's sprinkle a bit of cinnamon on her for aesthetic purposes. Cute. Let's taste it. Okay, that is really good. I really like the cinnamon vibe with the honey. That tastes really good. This is not as good as the oat milk. I'm not gonna lie, it's really not as good. I do prefer oat milk rather than soy milk just in general. But this is still really, really freaking good. And it's really thick like the oat milk one, which is nice. But I do like the flavor of the oat milk a lot better. But overall, this is still really good. So, yeah. Okay, that was good. I 10 out of 10 suggest that you guys try this. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm just in the car waiting for Joel because he's just going pee. But what I'm doing is we're going out to ship my giveaway package. I should have done this last week, but I was just kind of really busy and got caught up and I didn't realize I hadn't shipped it yet. So I'm going out to ship that now. What else? I got to pick up a few things. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or if I'm going to do that another day, but I need to for sure get that package shipped out right now. So that's what we're going to do. That's priority. Also, my neighbors are cutting down a whole bunch of trees, it seems. They warned us that they were cutting down one tree and it was like really loud for one day. Now, literally since two weeks ago, almost every single day, they've been chopping down trees and it's just been so loud because my room is kind of facing them. So I can barely film in my room because the noise is so loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but I'm obviously in my car, so it's a lot less potent. But I just hope that when they're cutting them down, they stay safe because I don't know why whenever I see people chopping up trees, it looks like such a dangerous job. I mean, obviously they're hopefully trained properly and everything, but it just looks like such a scary job. So I just hope that they're safe. Did you just piss or did you feel? Oh shit. Yeah, I was like, you're taking a little long. Taste my soy milk. Oh. You don't like it? It's mine now. Oh, <laughs> funny. You do like it. It's good, right? That's good. Mm -hmm. It yeah. tastes like a pumpkin spice latte. Yes, that's right. That that is that is really accurate. When October rolls around, you're gonna see me trying to make pumpkin spice lattes at home. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna drive now. Also, fit of the day, I'm wearing these blue shorts with this knockoff follow me, but follow me top. Yeah, it's my little OOTD because it's like really awkward weather. It's like hot but cold at the same time. I don't really know how to explain it. Oh, I thought I left my phone in the car, but she's right here. All right, currently wrapping up a giveaway. All right, going in round two. We had to get the box and then we packed it in the car. And then so now we're actually going to ship it out. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, you guys. So I just heated up some of my mo mushroom soup for lunch. If you guys didn't watch my last vlog, you guys have to try this recipe. It's so good and it's vegan. So I'm just going to enjoy some lunch because I'm so hungry. And then do some work. Ooh. Not so hot, but so good. Also, it's 2.15 and 
and I haven't even finished like my first water jug for today so I'm a little behind so we got to catch up right now <laughs> gotta chug that water also really random but I was just showing Joel this TikTok last night because it made me laugh so hard okay hold on I'm gonna show it to you guys right here it's just the way that he was dancing like I need to recreate that like that is so funny it's literally like like, I, I can't do it. He did it so good. Like, I don't know. That was just really funny to me. Also, I'm literally obsessed with that song, Good For You. It's so catchy. Like, Olivia Rodrigo really out here bowling. Oh, my God. I literally cannot stand burning my tongue. You burn your tongue, and then you reap the consequences for, like, a few days afterwards. And could be up to, like, a week. And nothing tastes the same. Burning your tongue is just a different type of, different type of hurt. Okay guys, so Madison needs to pick up something off of Facebook Marketplace. Hey, give me those chocolate strawberry ones. Don't munch them all or I'll be pissed. Madison wants to pick up something off of Facebook Marketplace. And obviously we're not gonna let her get that out of the camera. so funny at that angle. And obviously we're not gonna let her go alone because that's like sketchy. Actually you would. I would I just had to ask you. You're the only reason why well, you come. If I didn't know, I wouldn't have gone with you. But if you told me, I would have gone with you regardless if you asked or not. Anyways, carry on. Obviously. So we're going with her because if you guys are young and you guys are specifically women, make sure if you go and get something off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, make sure you go with somebody because you never know what type of scenario they're going to put you in. Um, you always want to be extra careful because you never know. There is real wackos out there and sometimes it's hard to believe until it happens to you. So try and prevent it as best as possible and be safe out there. So yeah, so we're just going to do that real quick. She's going to check out a espresso machine because she wants to buy it for her friend for her birthday. It's brand new by the way. I'm not gross and buying. Yeah, it's like brand new one. in the box. So yeah, and then we're going to stop at the grocery store because we just need to buy a few things for dinner. Oh, it's currently 4. 48 and we got some snacks. She's literally brewed a bag of popcorn to eat in the car like my favorite way to eat popcorn is stale You have to leave it the bag open overnight and eat it oh, the next and day And it's ten times better popcorn stale, especially when it's the movie theater popcorn. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my gosh If you're not if right. you're not eating it stale Don't even talk to me. Okay. Well, I don't think I would enjoy that as much as fresh popcorn. Oh, you know you would but I honestly miss like the movie theater vibes, like going into the movie theater. I just miss it. It's like such a vibe at night. Like, I don't know, it's just such a vibe, but things are opening up apparently. They gave us like a long-term schedule and it looks very bright. We see that light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm so happy about that. This summer's gonna be so fun. No. Anyways. You guys, I really forgot to put on my shoes. So now I'm moving here. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so it is currently 10.30 and I should have been in bed a while ago, but regardless of say, Sorry, I literally just like didn't vlog for a long time today. I was just catching up on work and I was cleaning out the fridge, which took me so long. And I just didn't really want to vlog because I wasn't doing anything interesting, like anything interesting. But before I go to bed and stuff, I just want to sh quickly show you my dry shampoo hack that I've actually learned on TikTok and also how I make some really easy heatless curls to my hair overnight. So I'm going to quickly run you guys through that. Okay, so for those who don't know, I literally only wash my hair once a week. That's just what I do. I'm not going to get into it, but my hair is third day hair. Okay, so we're getting a little greasy. In order to prevent that, this is what I saw. Does anyone else run out of dry shampoo? Like literally like water, like so fast. Um, anyways, so basically what you do is you section off your hair and you want to do this right when it turns t greasy not when it's already greasy but once you start seeing the grease follicles coming into your scalp that's when you want to do it. you want to catch it before you have an infestation so section your hair off and get to the root and and leave it don't brush it in go to the next section and you guys can probably get the point you just keep going through the sections until you get to the top and then you Spray the top. You just do that. Don't brush it in because it'll soak into your hair overnight. Trust me. Or at least it does for me. I realized like I need to give extra dry shampoo attention to my front pieces because those are the ones that make my hair look the greasiest. I guess because they are like in front of my face, so I'm always like touching them. But anyways, I'm just gonna repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna keep sectioning it off. And just like that, 
We're out of dog shampoo. So now to do the curls, it's super easy. So what you want to do, part your hair in the middle and look at this brush. Okay, I never even realized this. Madison pointed it out to me. So basically this brush has a hair divider tool, whatever you want to call it. It's like pointy. It's like a weapon. Section off your hair. I mean, don't section it. Um, part it. That's the word. Parted my hair. Now we're gonna put it in half. Now kind of just like brush it out. You start by taking your front pieces and you're just gonna like French twist it. Take the smallest pieces of your hair and just start twisting and keep grabbing more hair. So it's like a French braid, but a French twist, if you know what I mean. Keep twisting. And you wanna make sure that you do it super, super, super tight. Okay, so when you get to the end, this is gonna sound gross. Like if you put an elastic, this won't hold by itself. So you need to put it in your mouth. So I'm gonna put this in my mouth and do do the other side so now this is really weird but you're gonna put them together like this take your elastic kind of looks like a little beer going on you're gonna really secure that like really tight tight yeah it's good and yeah then you just go to sleep like this and i swear the curls are really really nice if you want it a little bit of an extra oomph you can like damp your hair before you do this but yeah so that's my little secret hair curling recipe but yeah i'm just gonna get ready for bed now and i'll see you guys tomorrow good night oh did y'all hear that so it is the next day and it is currently 11.45. I was just rushing to get out of the house because I just had a lot to get done this morning. I didn't really have time to vlog because today my Zaffel haul is going up. Usually I have all my videos lined up for the week and they're like ready to go. But I didn't finish this Zaffel haul yet because one of the packages was delayed. So I needed to like add it in and then re-edit it. So <laughs> I just finished editing it this morning. I uploaded it, had to put the thumbnail in, had to put the links in the description. I had to do all of that this morning. Uh, I could have waited to do it when I was home, but I was just scared to do that because it would be way too rushed. Um, and now I'm currently on the way to the gym. My appointment's at 12, so like 15 minutes. I don't really like working out too early in the morning because I feel like I just don't get a good enough workout in because I'm so tired. Yeah, I honestly really like going at 12. It's kind of like the perfect space. I really wanted to do a video waking up at 5 a.m. for a week, but honestly, I just don't know if my body would be able to physically handle that. I just suck at waking up early. I need my sleep so i don't know i might try it just to see how i do but we'll see i have a lot of work to do today so i'm gonna try and get a lot of that done when i get home from the gym for now we're just going to get a good workout in anyways i'll see you guys at the gym up at the gym that was a really satisfying good workout feels so good to have my mask off i'm so excited when i can work out with no mask anyways whew, okay then i'm gonna head home have a nice protein shake when i get home yeah <laughs> Okay, so I ran out of my actual protein that I always use. So my brother let me use his protein and this is the vegan uh, vanilla chai from the brand Blessed. It is so good. Like this shit is popping way better than my other protein because that one is like way more expensive than mine. So that just goes to show that the more you pay, the higher quality protein you're actually getting and the better it's gonna taste. Um, anyways, I'm just heating up again leftover soup because we still have like a little bit left. So that's gonna be my lunch. And yeah, it was a little clumpy because you know how when soup sits for a bit in the fridge, it gets like a little clumpy and thick. A trick for that is just like putting vegetable broth in it or whatever broth you use to make the soup and just put that in when you heat it up so that it like thins it out a bit and it still doesn't like lose its taste. Okay, my arm is like really hurting from the gym, so <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Okay guys, I'm really excited because I got a package in the mail. So me and Joel for our birthdays. So my birthday was in March, his birthday was in April. And instead of getting each other birthday gifts, instead we just both ordered like the same pair of shoes for each other's birthday, if that makes sense. So it's like he gave my shoes to me, I gave his shoes to him. So yeah, that's what we did for our birthdays. And they just came in because we did order them like a few weeks ago. And his already came in, but mine were like, I think they got lost or something in shipping. I don't know, something happened, but they got super delayed. And I just got mine. And you guys, take a guess. Oh my god, I'm so excited to style these. Holy shit, you guys know if you've been watching me for a while that I lack in the shoe department. I have a good amount of clothing, but I really do lack in the shoe department. Let's just open it. I'm hyping this up too much. Yes, I got the mochas. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. 
they're literally so beautiful oh my goodness i really hope that they fit i'm a size 7 in women's and i got them in a 6.5 youth in like boys and this should fit oh perfect fit oh my goodness oh my goodness let's lace these puppies up you guys they literally fit perfectly obviously i'd wear them with like different socks and not this outfit but i cannot wait to style these with the tracksuit or something holy shit these are so fire okay guys so before i end the vlog i just wanted to quickly say we are not getting out of this life alive you're not getting out of this world alive everyone is going to die whether you like it or not everyone's life here is going to come to an end so do whatever makes you happy follow your dreams achieve your goals accomplish whatever you want to accomplish do whatever you want to do do what makes you happy and put yourself first stop caring about other people's opinions when in the end none of that matters do what you want to do because no one is getting out of here alive anyway so why not make it this the best life that you possibly can okay i just wanted to say that never wait for anyone's approval to do something if you want to do it if your intuition is telling you to do something do it you don't need anybody's approval as long as you support yourself and you know that whatever it is you're going to do is going to make you happy and the best version of yourself go ahead and do it you do not need to wait for anybody we only live once so make the best of it I love you guys so much and I just want best for everybody. I want everyone to live their best life and follow their dreams and achieve their goals and thrive together. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Peace out.